a laptop would be a necessary upgrade if you are preparing for college, and with the demands of schoolwork at your university, you will need a high-quality laptop to rely on. The best laptop for college is a device that won't fail you with slowdowns or complete crashes during crucial work or study sessions. Hello guys, today's video we're taking a look at the 5 best laptop for college students that you can get your hand on this year. And if you want more information, we also put the link in the description box down below. Thanks. Starting up our list with number 5, we have the Lenovo Flex 5i. The Lenovo Chromebook Flex 5i is an affordable laptop that checks all the boxes for students who don't plan to run demanding software. It has a solid Intel Core i5 processor, it can last 7 to 8 hours on a charge in typical use, and the size at 12.2 by 8.43 by 0.67 inches with 2.98 pounds of weight, it is small enough to easily fit in most backpacks or bags. This laptop is a Chromebook, which means it runs on Google's Chrome OS. It's more limited than Windows because it's designed primarily for web apps, not local software. These limitations are serious, but they help the Flex 5i offer snappy performance on a budget. Windows laptops sold at the same price will feel slower in day-to-day -day use. The Flex 5i run with Intel UHD graphics at 1080 pixels touchscreen display resolution. That's great to see this feature in an inexpensive Chromebook. While Chrome OS is not designed for touch specifically, it can run Android apps through the Google Play Store, and the laptop's flexible 360 hinge means you can use it like a tablet. A few configurations of Flex 5i are available, but the specific model we recommend has just 8GB DDR4 of RAM and 64GB of storage. This is fine for most owners because Chrome OS relies on internet connectivity, and many of your files will be stored in the cloud, not on a hard drive. Still, this will feel lean if you work with high-resolution images, video, or other large files. To sum it up, the Lenovo's Chromebook Flex 5i provides surprising performance, good battery life, and 2-in-1 flexibility at a low price. Next up at number 4, we have the Google Pixelbook Go. If you want a Chromebook that's a bit more powerful, then check out Google's own Chromebook, the Pixelbook Go. Despite its attainable starting price, the Pixelbook Go provides a shockingly luxurious portable computing experience that similarly priced laptops can't match. The unit comes at 0.57 x 12.25 by 8.12 inches in size and weight at 2.33 pounds. With the Intel UHD graphics, a 1080 pixels touch capable display with a 1080 pixels camera, in addition to Intel Core i5 processor and 8 gigabytes of RAM. However, the Pixelbook Go does come a bit short on storage, at least local storage. With merely 64 gigabytes of space in the entry configuration, it leans heavily on Google Drive Cloud storage, which starts at $2 per month or $20 per year for 100 gigabytes more space for online connectivity required. Still. Most other Chromebooks at this price point offer either the same or less local storage. Finally, the Pixelbook Go's battery can last for up to 12 hours by Google's measure. We adore the Pixelbook Go for its silent and comfy keyboard, as well as its overall offering of premium hardware for a relatively budget price. At its starting configuration, this is the best Chromebook for the money, although not the cheapest. However, if you're looking at the prices model with an Intel Core i7 CPU, 16GB of RAM, a 256GB SSD, and a 4K Ultra HD screen, we'd recommend seeking a high-end laptop running Windows or Mac OS instead. The Lenovo Chromebook Flex 5i, the other Chromebook we recommend, is better for students on a budget. You should buy the Pixelbook Go if you prefer Chrome OS to Windows and Mac OS and crave the best Google has to offer. At the end, the Google's Pixelbook Go combines a sleek design with an incredible keyboard and a surprising level of hardware for its starting price. At the number 3, we have the HP Spectre X360. HP Spectre lineup has been one of the more popular families of Windows laptops in recent years, and that popularity is wholly deserved. For 2022, HP introduced the new Spectre X360 13.5, the successor to the old X360 14, and it's one of the best laptops you can buy as a college student though it is a bit on the pricey side. The new Spectre X360 come with Intel Core i7-1255U, which has 10 cores and 12 threads, and it's capable of boosting up to 4.7 GHz. Additionally, the Spectre X360 can be configured with up to 32GB of RAM and a 2TB SSD, so it covers all the basics as far as performance goes. It's a 13.5-inch panel and comes in the 3 to 2 aspect ratio, which means it's quite a bit taller than a typical 16 to 9 display. 
the new Spectre X360 13.5 webcam now comes with a 5 megapixels camera supporting 1080 pixels video, on top of having smart features like auto framing, backlight adjustments, and even filters to help you look your best during meetings and video calls. HP also changed up quite a bit of the design with the latest Spectre refresh. What used to be completely flat surfaces with diamond cut edges has made way for a slight curve at the edges with much more subtle accents. It weighs 2.95 pounds and measuring an 11.75 by 8.6, 7 by 0.67 inches, so it's fairly portable for a premium convertible. There are two Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports, a USB type of port, a headphone jack, and a micro SD card reader make for a solid enough selection for a modern laptop, especially considering its size. At the end, the HP Spectre X360 13.5 is definitely one of the best laptops you can buy if you're a college student. It's fast and has a great display and it looks stunning. It has some downsides, but if you can overlook those, it's going to give you a great experience. At the number two, we have the MacBook Air. MacBooks are very popular laptops among college students, and the latest MacBook Air is the best for most students who don't need the absolute fastest processor and the graphics. It comes with the Apple M1 processor, which is Apple's first foray into in-house processors for laptops, and it has 8 CPU cores and it can boost up to 3.0 GHz. That may not sound like much, but comparing that to previous Ultramobile Intel processors, including those in previous MacBook Air models, the Apple M1 is both faster and more power efficient. Even with the latest generation of Intel processors, the Apple M1 is significantly more efficient. It can easily last you through any normal day and perform great while doing so. You can also configure it with up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and two terabytes of SSD storage, so it will handle just about anything you throw at it just fine. It's a 13.3 inch panel and it comes in a 16 10 aspect ratio. You can see more of web pages and documents in a single view, which is great for productivity. On top of that, it comes in a 2560 by 1600 pixels resolution, and that's the standard across the board. That means you'll get a great display experience regardless of the model you choose. MacBooks have some of the best webcams at 720p with the M1 chip, so you should look great in video calls. Macs have yet to add support for something like Face ID, but if you want a more convenient way to unlock your laptop, you do have Touch ID built into the power button. Design-wise, the MacBook Air is certainly a MacBook, for better or for worse. It weighs 2.8 pounds, which is fairly light, and it measures up to 16.1 millimeter at its thickest point, so it's certainly a very portable laptop. Ports are limited compared to what you might find on Windows laptops, just two Thunderbolt ports and a headphone jack, because they only support one external display and no external GPU due to the Apple M1 processor. While it has some limitations, the MacBook Air is still a fantastic laptop, and if you're a Mac fan, these limitations are already familiar to you. Apple did recently launch an updated MacBook Pro with more power and more ports, but it's much more expensive and only a handful of users can truly make use of that extra power. The last product on our list is the Dell XPS 13. Dell's flagship laptop has always stood out for its eye-catching design, with a nearly borderless screen and solid performance. That's still true in 2022 with the newest version of the Dell XPS 13, which runs on Intel's 11th generation processors and now offers the option for an OLED display. The XPS 13's design is a big part of what makes it a great choice for college students in particular. It starts at 7.82 by 11.64 by 0.58 inches in size and just 2.6 pounds in weight, making it more portable and even more lighter than the MacBook Air. Since there are barely any borders framing its screen, Dell was able to cram a 13-inch screen in what's essentially the size of an 11-inch laptop that could be useful for college students in need of a portable laptop that will fit in almost any bag. The XPS 13 also has one of the most comfortable keyboards I've ever typed on, a perk students will appreciate when writing long papers or taking notes in class. Battery life in real-time usage is about 6 hours, which isn't the best we've seen on a laptop but is still more than enough to get you through a day of classes. But like many laptops, the Dell XPS 13's webcam resolution is only 720 pixels, which might make you look a bit blurry and dim in video calls. The XPS packs plenty of performance considering even the cheapest configuration on Dell's website comes with an 11th generation Intel Core i3, 8GB of RAM memory and 256GB SSD of storage. Dell also offers a 10% discount on select electronics and accessories as part of its education discount program for those who qualify. 
Overall, the Dell XPS 13 has all the hallmarks of an exquisite laptop as a strong performance, a lightweight and striking design, a comfortable keyboard, and a gorgeous display.